I want to show you how to use the match one or more function within SmartList. Let's take a look at SmartList. If I do a SmartList on, for example, financial transactions, it's going to show me all the transactions. But say I was looking for a specific set of transactions. In fact, I was looking for a set of transactions that had the dollar amount, $76,800. And the reason I'm looking for this is because I made a series of entries that now are problematic. I want to go back and see where those entries were made. So what I might do is do a search on that. And I'd do a search on the credit amount equal to $76,800. So if I did that. That works fine. It pulls up all the transactions, but only the ones that have credit amounts. So you might say, well, I'll just do it for debits amount, debit amounts as well. So look that up. Put 76800 in it. Hit OK. But nothing comes up. And the reason is that this search criteria is set up as credit amount equals $76,800 and debit amount equals seventy six eight hundred dollars well that's not gonna happen so what I can do is I can go down to the search type here and change that to match one or more and this really changes the relationship between these two search criteria as or instead of and so I'll hit OK it's gonna bring up all the transactions that have seventy six thousand eight hundred dollars in either the credit or the debit amount and here you can see it brings up these transactions I'm looking at two journal entries so this is a good way to sort the data in SmartList to get just the data that you want. You should try it out if you haven't tried it already.